Hey guys, so it's Jane here from Legend Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about the Lewis gun in Battlefield Hardline, or what it's actually called, the Syndicate gun. So this weapon obviously came into the Betrayal DLC, for those of you who didn't know, and it was one of the coolest weapons in Battlefield Hardline. It was sort of the culminating weapon in Battlefield Hardline. It was unlocked through the Big Eddie's Wise Guys assignment. It required you to unlock both the Mammoth gun, and then that would lead you to unlock the Syndicate gun. And this weapon is just really awesome, and it honestly is a pity that it is a DLC weapon. I actually saw a comment earlier today on my video saying that it's really annoying that it's the only non-battle pickup light machine gun, because it truly is a light machine gun, I'll get into that later, um, that isn't a battle pickup, and it comes in DLC, which is really annoying. But leading into that, I think that they're going to make Betrayal DLC free in probably three weeks. Maybe two to three weeks, I feel like they're going to make the next Hardline DLC free. It's either going to be criminal activity or betrayal, I honestly can't tell. I feel like they may save betrayal for last, because in my opinion, it's the best DLC. They want to draw the most people in, so they may save that one for last. But anyway, they're going to make another DLC free in two or three weeks. I've been pretty accurate with my guesses so far, and as the Battlefield 1 hype starts to die down in around two, three weeks, maybe even four weeks, they'll release another free DLC to keep that hype going. But something else they did a while ago was do a World War I server, and since the Lewis gun is in Battlefield 1, and it actually has a 47 round magazine, the same as the one in Hardline, and a 94 round magazine variant, I feel like I can make another World War I server in Battlefield Hardline. So for those of you who don't know, I did a World War II server a while ago in Battlefield Hardline, and that had really good success. You guys absolutely loved that, and a ton of you were able to play it. I bought a server for a month, and I was able to play in it a ton, and it was just super fun, but it ran mostly premium maps, so a lot of you weren't able to join. I'm gonna see what maps I could run. Tell me down below in the comments. This is where I want your guys' help. Tell me down below in the comments either what maps to have in the preset. Give me a non-premium and a premium preset and then also what weapons to have. I just came up with a quick list right here, and I have the Syndicate gun, the M1903, which were both used in the war, the M45, which is similar to the MP18, uh, the M12S, which is also similar to that, but it's for a different, it's for the criminals, whereas the M45 is for the cops, uh, the 1887 shotgun, which was used around that time. The M1 carbine was used later, however, it has that semi-auto sort of roll that a lot of the other weapons don't provide, obviously. If you want to include a semi-auto sniper in your list, obviously feel free to do that. Um, the M1911 as one pistol, and the FN57 as the other pistol for the other faction who can't use it. Um, I did modify my health in the old one. I made it 80 health. However, in this one, I'm not sure if I'd modify it. And by the way, guys, this server would be for PlayStation 4. I actually don't have Hardline on Xbox One, so sorry about that. For those of you who are X on Xbox One, I prefer for Battlefield One. I'm thinking of getting it for all three consoles. I'll probably get it on PC when it's on sale, but I'll get it on PlayStation and Xbox most likely. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking for sure getting it on PlayStation um, if I haven't already pre-ordered it by the time that this video goes up. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you guys think about that World War II server idea. Also, leave your comments down below again for that. Tell me what you guys think about the Syndicate gun. Should it be free? I really think it should be just because it's one of the coolest assignments in the game. Uh, drop a like down below for the gameplay in the background. Subscribe if you are new here. That's really it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.